Hello everyone and welcome, my name is KimCom17 Thank you for clicking on another one of my videos We guys will be watching today is some more Black Ops 3 gameplay I still have more to upload like I said And uh, we're watching here is a new game mode called Safeguard I believe Where I go 58 and 10 well, I didn't know what's gameplay about so I'm not sure about that But yeah, so if you guys do enjoy the gameplay in the background Then please leave a like, comment and subscribe And uh, haven't done a video in a few days because I'm taking a little break But I'm back, I'm going to make it more probably I'm going to try to do Monday to Friday then Saturday Sunday off because uh, it gets a bit repetitive and stuff like that and you can't really think of many things to talk about but since I've been away and doing my own stuff I've been a uh, I went to go see a movie the other day I haven't been in the summer but it is with a good went with a good friend of mine and we went to go see a uh, I think it's called We Are Friends or something like that it's basically a music vid uh, not music video it's a music film about a DJ that's trying to get big so it's basically it relates to me and my friend a lot because we both do DJ and I taught him and I learned at school so yeah we both be doing it together we both like if I have a party I'll take him with me and vice versa and stuff like that so we can because DJing for an extensive amount of hours is, it gets quite tiring so you need like someone to help you or you're taking turns so yeah so that's why I take him along with me and it's good fun to do it with a friend obviously it's kind of boring doing it by yourself but yeah so we went to go see this film it was a good film but uh Actually, I'll tell you what happens first, and I'll tell you how we felt about it at the end. So, what really happens, no, no spoilers really. It's basically got Zach Efron in it, and uh, he is a D DJ, just does it in his bedroom with his own equipment and stuff like that. He looks like me and my friend, and uh, there's a few friends that promote him and they make him DJ at clubs and stuff. So, they're promoters for a club, and he just goes and DJs there in one of the little rooms and stuff like that, because you know, they have more than one room. So, that's basically what they do in their lives, and uh, obviously, that's not good enough for them. They want to get big and go around the world, travel and stuff like that. So, what happens to him, luckily, is the main DJ that's there, he's not really much of a uh, big-headed person that doesn't really speak to other people. So, he invites Zach to go uh, to a party with him. And from there, they become really good friends and stuff like that. And uh, there's other little bits where they fall out and then stuff happens in the movie. I'm not going to run for the entire film. So, basically, they become friends. Uh, he gets to do one of these massive field festival type things like uh, uh, I can't even think of any festivals in my head like Leeds and stuff like that if you're from the UK so he gets to do one of these big ass festivals which is I would love to do one of them that is the goal right there and he doesn't DJ just any old track he makes his own from like the sounds and his feelings and the surroundings so he makes his own track and it absolutely blows like not blows as in it sucks I mean it's massive it's, it's, it's a really good track so that's how he becomes popular there but then I was watching, we were watching the film with my mate, and uh, when he went on the stage to do the festival, and this track that he made did so successfully and stuff like that, it was literally to anyone else. I'm not saying that no one else has really big passion for music just as much as I do, but I'm just saying to anyone else that's not really into DJing and stuff like that, that film to them was just some old movie. But to us, me and my friend sitting there watching this, it was kind of like a kick up the bat side because. We have the entire, I have all the equipment that I need, I have like four speakers, I have the amp, I have the laptop, I have my desk, stuff like that, and the lights and the smoke shelf. Basically I have everything for what I need to do, but it's actually going out there and physically doing it, that's the hard part, because if you don't, it's kind of like doing YouTube as well, if you don't see success, you're going to give up, and I'm trying really hard not to give up with doing the YouTube and stuff like that, I do enjoy it, so I'm going to keep making videos and stuff like that, regardless of whatever, I don't really care about that, but I'm talking about music wise, it's kind of hard because there's so many people that want to do it and so many better people out there that are doing it that to get into that kind of stuff is quite hard but basically so I keep at it and I want to like call people and try to get in like do a club or something like that and just keep going from there but guys yeah if you did enjoy the video it's coming up to an end now and you did enjoy the story then please leave a like comment and subscribe thank you for clicking on another one of my videos I really appreciate it even if we didn't stay all the way to the end but I don't care so thank you guys I'll see you in my next video and peace out